Here is a video about how I train. Those who follow my little channel know that I have a brain injury due to a bicycle crash during an Ironman training. So I'm not saying this is by any means the right way to train, it's just what works for me right now. And I never give up even though I've been told I'll never be able to run again. I also run outside, but unfortunately not very many kilometers anymore. And only in places where the surface is very soft. All in all, I'm not running particularly much right now, probably about 10 to 20 kilometers a week. But having said that, most of the kilometers I run are like this. It looks very easy, but I can say my heart rate is equivalent to running 15 to 16 kilometers per hour on a flat road. I run like this for 10 minutes and take a break to take care of my head. Afterwards, five minutes on the Stairmaster. It's good for my head, I don't get as many shocks here, but still have a heart rate equivalent to running about 18 to 20 kilometers per hour. After a break of two to three minutes again to protect my head, then I'm going for a run on the cross trainer. The only thing that matters here is to get speed in the legs. Afterwards, a truly disgusting machine. Five minutes with plus 350 watts. I used to be a pretty good bike rider, but I'm not anymore. When I'm done here, the thing I'm most looking forward to is coming. Tempo training. I have about 200 pairs of running shoes and love to pack my big backpack with four to five pairs and test them against each other. And I don't care what other people think the different shoes should be used for. Right now, I run both in carbon, trail, and recovery shoes at plus 20 kilometers per hour. And I love it, but I only run for a short time and change my shoes and rest my head. I train like this two to three times a week plus a cycle ride on my home trainer and then strength training three times a week. Based on running and to avoid injuries, I train every day but not at the same level as I once did. Here you can see my numbers. 67 on the bike is okay when I only ride once a week, but my running VO2 max is not impressive by any means. Maybe someone will think that it is not bad at all. Perhaps it isn't either when you think about my age and my circumstances. But one of the things I've always done is to compare myself to the best even though I wasn't one of them myself. Too many compare themselves to ordinary people, which is super fine. But that is often the explanation when they cannot understand that they cannot run faster. Often the same people have far too many excuses, uh, it was windy and it was too hot, therefore I could not run fast. No, that's not why, it's because you have a weak mentality. You already lost before you started running. Yesterday I had to test a new treadmill, and my goal was to run 10 kilometers. For I had taken good care of my head in the days leading up to, but I was simply too weak and so I could only run 9 kilometers. I could come up with all kinds of excuses why, but you can't use it for anything. Yesterday my mentality was too bad, and I only have myself to blame for that because my head was so optimal under the circumstances I have to live with. But still, I just wasn't good enough and am very disappointed in myself. But I also just have to accept that we have good and bad days. The most important thing was that I didn't get such a headache. I hope every day that I will get better and one day have the opportunity to run a marathon again. I don't need to run fast, but if I could just run under three hours, I would be happy.